that perhaps they could have called on Usman Dembele. Oh, no, wait oh. a minute. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, Matteo Alemine has told Dembele that he is to find a new club, basically. That's why he wasn't selected for tonight's game. He said, we've told him and his agents that they should leave immediately because we want players that are committed to this project. Now, the Professional Football Association in Spain have actually said that this isn't really allowed what they've done here, Jules. What have you made of this whole situation? I think it's, it's crazy to the point that we've, we've rarely seen, certainly, certainly in, in top, top clubs with, with top players like that, um, situations similar before, really. The fact that Ousmane Dembele and Barcelona and his agent and the club have not found an agreement on a new deal, which happens a million times, but to, to descend so quickly and to escalate so quickly to this is quite crazy. I've, I've just been told before we went on air that he doesn't want to leave right now. Even if Barca set him free and they say, okay, you're free to go, he doesn't want to. He wanted to stay at the club, just didn't want to accept the offer that he felt was not right for him. Okay, maybe maybe as a counter offer, he asked for too much money. Maybe, I can, I can hear that criticism, of course, but certainly to, pay, to take a pay like the club wanted him to take. I don't think he was ready for that. Again, is there a reason to make him a scapegoat and, and, and put him with your finger and point him with your finger and, and, and basically saying that he's the worst thing in the world? I don't think it is. Again, it's a negotiation between a club and a player like we've had a million times before, like the boys have been involved so many times in their career. Sometimes you find an agreement, sometimes you don't. I don't think it's a reason to, to treat Ousmane Dembele like this. I, I'm really curious to see what happens tomorrow, the days to come. Uh, and especially what happens if he's still at the club on February the 1st. It's a power move from Barcelona, and it's also posturing for Barcelona and saying, look, we've done all we can. It's on the player and his agent. Obviously, they don't want to be part of what we want to do in the future, and so therefore, get. You should tell Usmani Dembele to get, simply because he hasn't been good enough for you. And I think at this point, if you're Barcelona, you're better off actually having Usmane Dembele as an option for you, even if it is off the bench, given the, the current situation and the current talent that is available to you. And so, at the very least, get what you can for the next few months. And if indeed the player is productive enough, perhaps there is an offer out there that you can put forth if indeed you want to chase him down. I wouldn't do it. I would stay away from Usmane Dembele because I think that you can invest that money somewhere else. As for the player and as his relationship with the manager and the club, nobody benefits from this. Nobody looks good in this. And certainly, if you think about Barcelona and you think about their most expensive signings, it is a referendum on Barcelona that we're talking about. Philippe Coutinho, he gone. Antoine Griezmann, he gone. Usman Dembele, about to be gone. What does that say about your organization that you spent all that money and none of those guys have worked out? Maybe it's on the players, but maybe it's on you as well. And what do you think Dembele's options are then, Jules, if it's not Barcelona? That's a really good question. I mean, I think it will depend a lot if, if he's set free by Barcelona, which I think is, is the idea that they have. They don't want to transfer fee. They just want to get rid of him, like we've been, like we've been saying. The thing is, he, wants, he always wanted to wait until the summer to see his options and to see the offers that he's got on the table. At the end of his contract with Barcelona, if you move that forward, I don't think there will be as many clubs now than in the summer, where in the summer it's a much easier transfer window, even if he's a free agent, where you're not halfway through the season, where you've, everybody has assessed what they need, what they don't need. You have a better idea of where you want to go. So it's far more difficult for him to find a club now than it would be in the summer for example. That's why he wants to stay until the summer. I think England and the Premier League, there's, there's still some, some suitors for him, clubs that are interested in him, clubs that believe he still has enough talent and that they can resurrect a career because I think resurrect is the right word. Look at his four years at the club, at Barcelona, he's played, what, 50% of the game? I think he's got a goal every 240 minutes, something like this. It's, it's not good enough, despite all the talent. And sometimes you see and you think, wow, what could he become? What could he be? Because he clearly has a lot of talent. Again, it's not enough and there's so many French players that we've said that in the last few weeks and he's one of them but I still think there will be clubs who are ready to take a gamble on him and said you know what we can help him to get back to his best and use him he's only 24 years old it's just that I'm not sure who right now 
apart from a Newcastle or clubs like that, would be, be, would be ready to come in January. And let's not forget, if he asked the same to other clubs than what he was asking Barcelona, it's a lot of money. We're talking around 40 million uh, euros a year, which is a lot, plus the signing on fee or the commission for his agent, Musa Sissoko, another Musa Sissoko, and, and all of that. So it's, it's a huge package. Again, let's not forget that. It's a huge uh, package, financial-wise, that you would invest in him. Uh, so what do you reckon, Jules? A yes or no from you. Will we see him play for Barcelona again? Uh, I think this is typically a, a case where, yes, for now they hate each other and then when they, we all realise that they need each other for a few more weeks, then yes, maybe you can play again for the club. OK, well, we'll keep our eye on that. Uh, Xavi spoke about the injuries after the game as well. He said Pedri doesn't seem to be anything serious and we will see with Ansu after test mm. tomorrow. That per us, Samuel Marsden over on Twitter after the game. Uh, don't forget to keep up to date with us on ESPN FC every single day. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.